Okay, my friends, let me help you put yourself at ease, okay? This is a full page notice that I will go to the process of reading for you. This is on this date, and there has been another as of yesterday, the 15th. And it says, attention, and these are our representatives. Okay, and senators, public servants, governor, attorney general, secretary of state, United States congressmen, senators, state representatives, senators, sheriff's district attorneys, oath keepers of USA. Constructive notice and demand to halt the Congressional Election Certification Process due to evidence of substantive fraud. Okay, what we have here, look at it. I don't really need to read it to you. I will show it to you, and I will tell you it is written by someone within the judicial system in our city and parish. Evidence is overwhelming, overwhelming at the 2012 elect Barack Hussein Obama is not a natural born citizen of the United States. Get over it, people. He is not. Therefore, he is not eligible to be bankrupting our ass into oblivion as he is. Okay, do you understand what he is doing? Surely you must know there is significant evidence <clears throat> of election fraud through the 2012 election process, rendering the alleged outcome of the election null and void. Okay? Now, it says the secretaries of numerous states were duly noticed prior to placing the name on the ballot due to the disconcerting fact that various secretaries have been remiss and negligent in their duty to properly vet and certify all candidates before placing their name the duty and responsibility falls to Congress to halt any certification of the president elect. All right, we go on to show specific voter fraud. Evidence exists as to violation. Let's cut to some numbers, people. All right, here we go. Out of 175,554 registered voters, 247,713 vote cards were cast in St. Lucie County, Florida. Goes on to say, Broward County, Florida, Obama received 99% of the votes in Broward County. <clears throat> Pennsylvania, y'all oh, didn't think much about my video about the Northeast, right? Okay, here we go. Let's get to some numbers. Up to 10% of the ballots cast at polling station in Pennsylvania reverted to a default to give Obama a vote, no matter who the vote had selected in Upper Mukunji Township near Allentown, 
Robert Ashcroft observed the election software change the selection back to default to Obama. Okay, you understand? Pennsylvania, 59 different Philadelphia voting divisions reported zero votes for Mitt Romney compared to Obama's. Zero votes, people. Give me, give me a break. Ohio fraud. Obama received 106,258, where there were only 98,213 eligible voters. Two election judges were replaced after illegally allowing unregistered voters to cast ballots. More than 20% of the registered Ohio voters were not eligible to vote. In 31 other counties, registration was above 90% of the population. Ohio voters who are native to Somalia were given a state card staying, saying vote Brown all the way down. It's like this. We have enough of Obama and his lies and his treason and his bullshit. The charade is going to stop. Romney received zero votes in nine Cleveland precincts. And in one Cleveland precinct, Obama beat Romney 542 to zero. In more than 50 different precincts, Romney received two votes or less. You understand what I'm telling you? The votes of personnel in the United States military were unawfully su suppressed by the direct intervention of Obama and the Secretary of Defense. Uh-oh, Panetta. Uh-oh. Over two million new temporary citizens, illegal alien voters, via his fucking executive order. Millions of dead and felon voters temporarily moving Democrat voters across state lines. Okay? Read. Driving them to polls. This is not allegations, this is proof. You do not understand what I showed you above here. Robert Ashcroft, an election auditor, observed the election software change the selection back to default to Obama. These are not allegations, all right? As a result, we must hereby demand that you avoid all appearance of impropriety and or illegalities by ensuring that the congressional certification is postponed until an appropriate and thorough investigation is completed with the extensive fraud existing during the 2012 election cycle. Anything short of a full investigation will assure the American people that their best interests are no longer a concern of their representatives and that said representatives are complicit in the most flagrant fraud ever perpetrated on the American citizens. My friend, I'm telling you like it is, Obama's days are numbered. We're on to him, and we are holding his feet to the fire. And he can send out his little viper squads because this is murder. We will not be intimidated. We will not stand down. We will not go quietly. We will not stand by while this son of a bitch drives us into the ground to the tune of 30 trillion, trillion fucking dollars, people. Look, this is part one of what I have to show you. 
I'll have to break this up because I have more, and I'm not afraid to say what I've got to say. You ought to know that.